Okay, I'm coming to you today with my bun in the oven. I took my entire wig and twisted it, twisted it into a circle until it became a bun. When I picked it up, it was trying to loosen. And what I was trying to do was sort of recreate the look of Paris. But this is just a simple full sheet. I twist it, twist it, and then I put it in the oven on like 275. <laughs> I forgot how long it was in the oven. It might have been 45 minutes, an hour or something. But I said, you know what? It's steaming because it's wet. So I don't want to spend four hours, you know, heating my oven for one, you know, 19 or 25 dollar wig. So I took it out and I let it dry. And then I said, I'm going to wait today to show you all my bun out of the oven. So if you noticed on, so it's just twisted into a circle like a bun. <laughs> If you notice on uh, the Paris wig, the whole wig has that swirl in it. So this is my Easy 5 Ocean. The Easy 5 Ocean, the Paris, as well as the Danity are all cut alike the that way the hair starts. It's the side part and then it's one layer, two layer, three layers. The only thing that differs between the wigs is the way they're curled. So... After I do see how this bun in the oven comes out, I, next time I curl her, I might make her into Danity with the five bobby pins and the rubber bands. And if you have not checked out that video, I highly suggest you do because it came out so pretty. That's right. I curled my Danity. It's a Danity um, OP27, I think, update. I used five bobby pins and one rubber band and the hair came out gorgeous. Sounds like my son's coming in. Okay, so I'm starting with um, this hair. And it is twisted into a ball, as you can see. So this is the this is the top of the wig right here. This is the top of the wig right here. And I just twist it into a circle. And this is the bottom of the wig right here. And I twisted, 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 twisted till the whole thing went into this bun. And like I said, I put it in the oven and I let it dry. I didn't let it dry in the oven because it was just steam. It was steaming and steaming and I didn't know how long it, it might take forever in the oven. So I just took it out and I left it dry for a couple of days. So it's been a couple of weeks now. I haven't touched it because I wanted to review it on YouTube. <laughs> So let's pray it comes out all right <laughs> live with you all so that you can get a chance to see if it if the, how the curl pattern came out with me twisting my entire wig into a bun, putting it in the oven for about 45 minutes, and then <laughs> letting it air dry. Okay, so I'm about to tag my wig cap is slip, sliding back. I took, my hair is so soft and thin, the wig cap just slides back. I'm about to untwist this hair. You can see it's just a big twisted curl. It was just twisted, twisted, twisted. So I'm about to untwist it. It's twisted all the way from the top. Okay, so I'm untwisting it right now. And let's see how the curls came out. All right. I didn't think about that bottom part. Look what's going on with the bottom. Everything's going in a different direction, so I might have to curl that. Okay, let's, let's just shake it out some. All right. What's that? It's getting tangled up here by the front. I got a little tangling. So there's the side part right there. There's my side invisible part. And this is the whole unit that was twisted. Okay, so I'm still untwisting it. So I just want to see how it's going to come out. Alright. So you can see the wave pattern in me. I still need to loosen it up some more. Alright. So you can see it. And this is the side in the front on the where the part is. 
and this is the front. This is trying to tangle right here. So you had me twist it up too much. Okay. Mm, got some curls there. Let's see. Guess it's good to start from the bottom. Oh snap! Look at that. Look at my bun in the oven. Brush it from the top. Brush it on the side. Brush it on this side. Okay, I think it's time for me to try it on. Let's see how this bun in the oven came out. It looks like the Easy Five loose. That's what it looks like to me. It's like the ends would still have to be curled. Yeah, I like the five rubber band, the five rubber band, the five bobby pins in the rubber band method better. Okay, so yeah, some of the ends and not knowing what to do on this one, but it's not bad. It looks like the Easy Five Loose, and this was the Easy Five Ocean. Yeah, that's the only thing I can see. Some of these ends need to be curled on the end. But it does have a lot of curls to it. So that's another technique to curl your wigs. It was kind of tangled right there for some reason. Yeah, it looks like the Easy Five loose now. Alright. Yeah, like this piece needs a swirl or something to it. piece needs to be curled but it was an experiment so you all have been on this adventure with me so I don't think I'll be using that method again but it did put waves in the rest of the wig so let's see how it looks from the back I guess I would have to put that under like this or something for now all right so here it is from the back Again, this is from my bun in the oven. And here it is on the side. Yeah, see, this is the only one. This would have to be hot curl, so she could go back. That piece here in the front. The side sushis. They would have to be hot curl. That's some hair on my face. All right. Here's the other side. So this is gorgeous right here. I just need something with this. So this piece right here, this little bit right here in the front. What I would do is straighten that and twirl it back. 
And if I heated up my comb, I could have did that on camera, but I didn't, so I'm going to have to do it off camera. But yeah, I'll probably cur hot curl that one piece right there. And um, anyway, this is this is how my bun in the oven came out <laughs> with my uh, Easy Five Ocean. All right. Yeah, so it's, it looks like the Easy Five loose now. All right, so I just wanted to share that. Um, this unit does have a very long invisible L part that goes back to here. And um, just trying different techniques to restyle my synthetic units. And this was <laughs> this was one experiment I'll never forget. <laughs> the bun in the oven. All right. Thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget to hit subscribe. Bye-bye.